I was a victim. Sure, looking at me now, you would never imagine that I could have been a victim of anything in my life. Yet, I was. I was. And I was a victim in so many ways. So many ways. Ways that I could never have fathomed at that time. Looking back at my life, the way that I was, my core being, the happy, excited, always looking to make everyone laugh around me, the bubbly personality that I had in comparison to what I had become. It was almost like looking at two different people. I was a victim of many types of abuse, not only physical, but mental, at times sexual. religious, and all kinds of types of abuse that you could fathom. I became invisible to myself. I didn't exist anymore, not for me. I existed for whatever beliefs were poured into my head. Sure, they were presented to me with so much beauty and excitement that I never thought twice that it could be wrong. How could that be wrong? Surely what you say must be. Surely what you're making me do must be the way that it is. Fear kept me trapped. Sadness and depression kept me locked up. I couldn't talk to anyone. Looking back at the way that I was in the past, a go-getter, a businesswoman, I had the world at my fingertips. I was empowered to make my own choices, to speak the things that were on my mind when I wanted to. There was no limit. Sure, I had a limit within myself, but it was not imposed by anybody. I had the freedom to choose what I wanted to believe in, what I wanted to do with my life, how I wanted to do it. Until one day, slowly but surely, somehow it all got wiped away. I became, for the most part, a wallflower without a voice, without my own thought. I became a robot, to say the least. Just followed automatic instructions, did as I was told. I had no voice, but inside of me, I was shouting out, hoping for something better, for something to change. That change never came, not for many, many, many years. I felt trapped and I felt so alone. I was so isolated in so many ways. I had nobody to turn to. I didn't have family to turn to. I didn't have friends or relatives. 
I felt as though I was locked inside a prison, inside of myself, without the ability to be able to talk and tell someone. I lived in fear. Because that fear was implanted in me. And that fear of losing the ones that I loved, that were close to me, that were my pride and joy, my diamonds, that I did not cross that line of fear. And it kept me trapped for so, so many years. I couldn't talk to anyone, I couldn't turn to anyone because of that fear. That fear was so strong, but it wasn't just the fear. It was the mind control that kept me so trapped that I believed everything that I was told. Sure, maybe part of me was hopeful, but I was so naive and so trusting that I didn't think anything of it. And one day, one day, It was just too much, too much. Lord, give me a sign. What do I do? He gave me a sign. He gave me two. And I finally found the courage and the strength to speak out to somebody. I didn't care who it was. Sure, I was afraid. But I felt like I had to get rid of this heavy rock on my chest. Because I needed to tell somebody the, the horrors and, and the duress that I was suffering and going through for so many years. And I had nobody to turn to. And I finally did. I told somebody. And it was probably the best thing that I had ever done in my life was to speak out and not be silent anymore. In all odds, I didn't care. I didn't care about the consequences. I just wanted my freedom and my life back and my human rights. There was so much fear inside of me. I was afraid to step out of the shelter doors. I was afraid to go for a walk. I was in fear of taking public transportation. There was so much fear that I had engulfed. I didn't know what to do. Reaching out and talking about abuse is probably the best thing that you could do in your life. Tell somebody, anybody that's willing to listen and help. Don't hold it inside because it robs you of your life. It robs you of your freedom and your future. It robs you of your youth. It doesn't matter how old you are. Abuse of all kind robs the person that you are inside. That little child that wants that freedom, that wants to be happy, it all gets taken away when you are being abused. Tell somebody, don't hold it in. 
It's the best thing that you can do to find your freedom, your voice. Step by step, you can regain yourself yet again, even through all the trauma that you have suffered. And there will be a lot of days that are dark and hard, but you have to feel empowered and know that you are worth every day that you wake up. You are worth it. And that you have the power in your hands to make that decision for your life and your children's lives. You have to know that you are powerful and I know that I am no longer the wallflower I have a voice and I feel empowered to make my own decisions and create my own beautiful future and that is what I am doing one day at a time, no matter how hard it gets, I have that power to make the change. My life is here and I can direct it whichever way that I want it to go. I don't feel like a victim any longer. I am a survivor of all kinds of abuse. Know that you are empowered. Know that you can talk to somebody and tell your story because silence is what kills us all.